Hey guys, welcome to an all new tonight's show's uh, at home edition. Winnie, thank you. You drew this? Yeah. That was really nice. Did you just want to make it more colorful? Yeah. That was pretty good. Franny, did you draw this? No. Mm. I did. Well, uh, how about tonight's charity? John Legend is on the show and he's working with feedingamerica.org. Uh, which is pretty cool. Did you draw that, Franny? No. Mm. I did. Thank you, Winnie. Uh, Franny, you're going to hang out back there? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, John Legend is our guest tonight, uh, and we'll be talking about Feeding America, which is awesome. They have over 200 food banks. They're helping food pantries all over uh, nationwide. They're amazing. Jose Andres is very close to them. He's just doing, uh, he's like an angel, that guy. He's just amazing. We'll be talking about that. Also, later in the show, we're going to have some of our favorite clips from The Tonight Show, including Nicole Kidman, one of the most awkward interviews I've ever done. Uh, so... Uh, get ready for that. Um, guys, uh, here in the quarantine, I start off my morning uh, by coming downstairs and making fresh coffee. Um, no big deal. Uh, not the stuff of miracles, except for this morning. Take a look at what happened this morning. Hey, guys. Welcome to what I think is the first edition of How Did Jimmy Pull This One Off? Um, I was just making coffee, and it's not an ad. I like Mr. Coffee. Actually, this is insane, but I put the water in the back of that thing there. and Anyways... The coffee came to that part. What? Is that? How did I? There's nothing in the pot. What? How did I do that? I'm like uh, David Blaine. All right, back to our show. Winnie, what are you what are you coloring in? It looks really pretty. I'm making things. Um, mommy's taping them, and mommy draws the outlines too. She's also ta taping these. Like, we already made this one, and, and I'm ready with that one. Uh -huh. Now I'm making that one. And what are these for? Um, for for shoots and ladders. <gasps> oh, because we need more characters for yeah. shoots and ladders. I want another gummy worm. You want another gummy worm, yeah. I know. Well, let's wait for uh, can dinner I time. Can I have gummy, gummy worms? Yes, of course you can have gummy worms after dinner, okay, everyone? Hey, but why not... did Franny have it? <laughs> Franny got it because, uh, well, I mean, look at her. She... Just running around, just, you got it under control. You're doing this, right? Mm. It's such a pretty dress, Franny. Uh, all right, I'll get you a gummy one, okay? <laughs> all right, Franny, here you sit here for right now. Let me go get a gummy. All right, you coming with me or no? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll be, I'll be right back. No, Winnie, you have to stay. Someone's got to be on cam. All right, hi, Win. Hi, how's it going today? Good. You're drawing game pieces mm -hmm. for shoots and ladders. And Give that we to already me. did this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's because you guys are good, good kids Thanks, today. Dad. You are so nice today. In fact, if you feel like it, you can laugh at the monologue jokes that we have today. Do you feel like doing that? Do you feel like uh, laughing at Daddy's jokes? Okay. Here we go, guys. All right, ready? Welcome to the Tonight Show at Home Edition. Well, you guys, today is Tuesday, March 24th, or Wednesday, April 31st, or Saturday, October 47th. Honestly, I lost track. Guys. Franny. Franny. I'm, I'm speaking here. Are you guys ready for the monologue? Mm -hmm. Ready? No. Okay. You can laugh. How do you laugh? How do you laugh? <laughs> That's silly. That's not how you laugh. All right, well, ready? Here we go. Welcome to the Tonight Show at Home Edition. Well, you guys, today is Tuesday, March 24th, or Wednesday, April 31st, or Saturday, October 47th. Honestly, I lost track. I saw that some Americans are now having virtual happy hours. And no, no, you whisper, not, guys? Just... not mine. Hey, Franny, can you whisper? Winnie, Winnie, can you whisper? Just as I do these. Franny, please don't take it apart. Like, like a smaller it together. whisper. Like a smaller whisper. Don't push it together. Like a smaller I whisper. Promise, I promise. After now, I can put things back together. No. No. No, don't. I saw that some Americans are now having virtual happy hours, and whoever came up with that, trust me, things are not going well in that house. Hey, Karen, it's 10 a.m. How about another virtual happy hour? I heard the people stuck at home right now are eating more and sleeping less. It's like everyone on earth just got dumped. <laughs> I, 
I think uh, two weeks of isolation is starting to take its toll. I guess I can explain it best through Adam Sandler. On day one, I felt like, okay, kids, let's uh, get to some arts and crafts and put the macaroni in the pipe cleaner, and uh, that's nice. And by today, I was like, stop hitting your sister, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Adam Sandler makes everyone laugh. Uh, I saw that on this date 15 years ago, The Office debuted on NBC. God, I missed The Office. Oh, honey, you're part of this. You say, uh, you say, I, I miss The Office too. I miss The Office too. And I go, you watch The Office? You say, no, I miss you going to the office. No, I miss you going to the office. <laughs> Winnie liked it. <laughs> uh, some big news today. It was announced that the Summer Olympics are being postponed. It's a bummer, but at least now I can stop training and let myself go. Yeah. That's right, no Olympics. Instead, they're handling, they're handing all the medals to anyone who's stuck at home with a kid under five. Oh, oh, oh you got a medal coming. There you honey. go. <laughs> I got something coming. There you go. <laughs> okay. Yes. There you go. Uh, the Olympics was postponed until next year. When the news broke, <laughs> when the news broke, pole vaulters were like, mm, "Let me check my schedule." Yep, wide open. <laughs> I saw that a former NASA astronaut is offering tips on how to survive in isolation. So if you want to hear from an expert about surviving on your own, talk to NASA or someone who worked at Radio Shack. There you go. That's the monologue right there. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, and right now, I'm going to do something that I never thought we'd, uh, we'd do. But people uh, at home sent questions for you guys and for, for Mommy. And so right now, it's time for Ask the Fallons. <laughs> Is it even recording? Yeah, it's going. Hi. Hi. Um, honey, this is your debut. <laughs> <laughs> what? A lot of people are asking uh, questions about that they want me to ask you or the kids. Okay. Um, so, Here we go. So, me, so we went. We decided to go for a walk, just just to to be social distancing. But we're just going to go for a walk. That'll be the best place to, the quietest place so I can get. Right. That's what we're thinking. <laughs> Anyway, we'll see. So this is my Here goes wife, the experiment. Nancy Fallon. Hi. But your maiden name is Javonin. That's true. Do you still go by Javonin when you produce? I think I do. You do? Yes. Uh, that um, you and your partner is Drew Barrymore. Yes, for almost 20 years. 20, no, over 20 years. Is that right? Yeah, since she was 19, we've been working together. Did you have any producer experience before? No, I had no producer experience. I had experience working on a dude ranch in Wyoming. <laughs> I cleaned houses in San Francisco. I uh, was a flight attendant That's right. for a while. Oh, I thought I could cure all homelessness at one point with this artist. That was that was a fun job. Yeah. I lost money on that one for sure. Yeah. Um, and many other odd miscellaneous jobs. Yeah. Where were until... you? Where were you born? You were born. In Connecticut? I was born in Connecticut. And raised in? In uh, Sub- Northern California. Northern California. Marin County, Mill um, Valley. Mill Valley. Funky um, old Mill Valley. Uh, and every time oh, it comes it was on funky the TV. Then, I should say. Every time it comes on, anything, anytime you see the Golden Gate Bridge or anything, you're like, oh, honey, look. <laughs> San Francisco. It is iconic for a lot of people, but. All right, these are some memories. questions, okay? The hashtag is Ask the Fallons. And, uh, you know, First of all, why did you agree to do the on camera? <laughs> I don't know. No, I mean, I hate to say a pandemic is what got me on camera, but I much prefer behind the scenes. Um, and I think that everyone needs an audience. And there's some people that you meet who really like to entertain people. And I'm more the audience. But here I am because you don't have anyone else to interview in our household. <laughs> <laughs> That's- <laughs> Okay, and yeah. There we are. We're really very dog Gary tomorrow. Okay. These are <laughs> Gary kind of comes. We did not plan any of these. Okay? I'm surprised Gary didn't come before me. Uh, Nancy, what's the first thing Jimmy does or says in the morning? Well, for real, good morning. Are you right? Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. 
Good morning, everybody. And then do I grab my phone? And then you do grab your phone. And then the kids and I say, good morning. Because they're in bed and with us. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> they do have beds. Uh, it, we do have it, it, beds. They own beds. Yes. They don't ever start out with us, but let's just say at five and six, when they do crawl in at night, we're not kicking them out. And, and the dog. It's usually five of us. Franny's new thing is she sleeps on the pillows. She sleeps on our head. Yes. Above our heads on the pillows, yes. usually on your large pillow behind know, your head. so funny. Thank goodness. Uh, okay. Here we go. And Nancy, is Jimmy a romantic? Please provide examples. I think you are. You do? Yes. <laughs> well, one, <laughs> one safe romantic story um, would be for my big 50th birthday party a few years ago. Not party, birthday. Uh, he got me the car that I learned how to drive in and drove all the way through high school and college um, and got me my very own which you might see in the next coming weeks, um, VW bus, which again, if you know Mill Valley and where I come from, <laughs> very iconic. More people uh, stop us for that thing. They don't even care that it's me in the car, nothing. They're no, like, they don't even notice those, you. I, I lived think. in that car for, yeah, you know, or whatever, the yep. bus forever. I took it to all the way to California from New York. And like, people have really, beautiful stories about that that vw bus <laughs> those who it touches it touches deeply yeah and then I feel but, the same way no, so that did, was very romantic but, but the cooler I, no, way but how did I do yeah, it? yeah yeah so the cooler thing that he did was that he gave me a, a case logic uh <laughs> shout out product placement case logic best. cassette holders with cassettes inside and i opened it up and it was all of my favorite favorites from um very uh uh, <laughs> eclectic sure. in yeah. my music, but it was everything from Harry Nielsen to the Muppets and John Denver sing Christmas together to Bob Genesis, Marley. Bob uh. Marley, Carly Simon, Cat Stevens, <laughs> The Cure, yeah. uh, Prince. Um, yeah, it was just a lot. Of anyway, fun. it was like 20 of my really the the actual albums that I loved, and. Um, I thought that was it. And I was like, that is the most thoughtful. These are all the ones you listen to me. All we want as women is to be heard, blah, blah, blah. And, <laughs> and he goes, oh my gosh, I forgot the boom box. It's out, um, you know, in the garage or whatever. So as I yeah, ran- what are you gonna play? What are you gonna play the yeah. cassettes on? Well, as I ran out to find the boom box to play my cassettes, uh, my brother drove in the VW bus. With the cassette player With in the, the bus. With the cassette player in the bus. The old Blau punked where it's like we'll play both sides, but you never know which side you're on. Oh, and then you, you, you press a button and take the front, the cover yeah, off. Yeah, the whole thing comes stealing, off. People so stealing no one the stereo. Car. Yeah. Oh, no one to break in uh, to a cassette player. Heavenly. So I think that was among the many romantic gestures. Wow. You got to be heard. That is fantastic. This is, I when want you more get, of these. When you feel heard, you feel loved. I want to <laughs> <laughs> more questions, uh, more questions uh, throughout the week. Uh, we're going to spread them out, but uh, right? Just for my own well, right there. heart this is palpitations. A win for me, so I'm... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we're ending right now. Oh, yeah, we're ending at that. <laughs> all right, That's all we, we needed to hear. That is the best and, story and, ever and heard. And we haven't seen one person. No, of course, social distancing. Or a car. No, this is great. For a lot of kids, school has been suspended for the rest of the year. So that means no sports, no graduation, and of course, no prom. So to all the seniors out there, the song is for you. It's called Prom With Your Mom. You're gonna have to go to prom with your mom. You're gonna have to go to prom with your mom. She's not your first choice, but she's the only one. Cause your sister said no, and your dog's no fun. She'll pin you with a very nice boutonniere It'll happen while your dad is standing right there Instead of a limo, you'll take a minivan To the backyard where you dance with your mom hand in hand Your dad will make the punch and be the DJ While your sister says you guys are so freaking lame Mom will be the prom queen, you'll be prom king You tell yourself it's totally not a sexual thing
You asked her to keep quiet about the special night. Too late, it's on her Facebook, racking up the likes. But oh, great, Aunt Linda said I look precious. And the promise, you'll gaze into her eyes and thank her for a night that took you by surprise. You'll say, Mom, this is not how I thought it would be. But I'm glad I was with you for this quarantine. You're the queen of my prom, you're my mom, you're the bomb. Oh, hi. I'm just trying to get my squats in. Uh, guys, John Legend was one of the first people to ever do a concert from his home on Instagram. It was very cool. I caught up with John to talk about that and more. Check it out. How you doing, buddy? Awesome, buddy. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for doing this. My pleasure. Okay, there we go. I think we're recording. We're going. This is all good. Uh, where are you right now? I'm in our living room at home. Thank you so much for doing this. I really, really appreciate this, as do uh, millions of people that are watching this. Uh, do it on the couch since, you know, make it feel like we're really on this night show. Well, exactly. Ah, that's a good call. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. What, what have you guys been doing to, uh, to, to fill the time? I know you got two little kids. Um, we just are learning how hard it is to entertain them all day. <laughs> <laughs> how Luna's three, right? Yeah, she'll be four in a month, and uh, the baby's one. Yeah, Miles will be two in May, and uh, hopefully we'll get to have birthday parties for them. But we don't know; we might still be distancing at that point. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty bizarre. Yeah, have you been playing games with Luna, like board games, or does she not do that? He's learning how to play Hungry Hippo. That's good. Uh, and I realized that she's too nice when she plays a uh, game. She does not want to win all the way. Like, she wants us to tie every time. No. <laughs> oh like, Isn't that I, such I, a millennial kid now, huh? I want her to be a little more competitive. And, yeah. Uh, I like that she's kind, but... <laughs> I don't want her to want to lose or tie and, and want me to feel better by, by uh, winning or tying. So uh, we're working on that. I'm yeah, like, my daughter's like the opposite. She starts crying when I'm in, even in the lead and shoots some ladders. <laughs> She's like, well, I don't want to do this. Like, oh, let's finish the game out. You might win. Come on. You know, but it's so cute. Like, no, Dad, you're doing okay. You're doing okay. You're fine. We tied. See, we tied. Even though she won, <laughs> she actually won. <laughs> How about you and Chrissy? What are you guys doing to, to, uh, to, with your time? Netflix a lot. Um, oh, what are you watching? What are you watching? I need shows. We're catching up on Peaky Blinders. We just finished, uh, we just finished season five, so we are literally caught up. And we're like, I got to get back into that. I forgot all about Peaky Blinders. We need to make season six now. I'm like, come on. We, we need to know what happened. That's what I said. I started Top Chef. I'm going to go, I'm going to binge Top Chef. I can't wait. And there's only one episode out. I go, guys, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. We need, give, me, give me four. I know there's got to be four done already. Come on. Absolutely. And then we've been watching Tiger King, which is everyone's favorite. Uh, I've not seen it yet. Is it, is it bizarre? It is incredibly bizarre and very funny and riveting and uh, it's a window into a subculture you just had no idea about unless you're It's people it. that own private zoos, is that correct? Yeah, so America is the largest habitat for wild cats, like tigers. Like we have more tigers in captivity in America than there are in the wild in the rest of the world. Isn't that crazy? Where, so Florida? A lot of Florida, so it's a lot of Florida. <laughs> it feels like a Florida thing to me. It's very Florida, but it's also Oklahoma. It follows the saga of this group of uh, competing um, wild cat owners. And there's murder, there's intrigue, there's adultery, oh there's, there's everything. It's crazy. Are you doing your squats now, Jimmy? Yeah, I've been, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm sneaking in squats. That's okay. what I was told to do. Well, that feels like it's productive. I, I feel like I didn't work out at all last week, and I finally <laughs> said this week I'm going to, like, actually work out again. The thing is, uh, Tev, is that just sneak in the squats when you get all of a sudden, you just stand around, just, just, just sneak in the, okay, sneak in the squats. Go. 
Just sneak in a squat. That's all I'm saying. Squat, 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 squat. Everybody. Okay. I got him in. Hey, the one thing I got to say thank you for doing, besides our show, is you did the live concert. Yeah. It was awesome. I loved it. I know a lot of people loved it. What made you, what inspired you to do that? I had a blast doing it. We, um, you know, all of us are home, uh, including artists. Uh, a lot of artists were supposed to be on tour right now. My tour is until the summer, but uh, there are a lot of bands that are stuck at home and wish they could be out doing what they normally do and wish they could be out going to concerts and, and doing all these other fun things. Um, but uh, as artists, we figured one way to bring everybody together would be to, uh, do these live streams of uh, concerts. And we weren't the only ones that came up with the idea. Chris Martin uh, was coming up with it around the same time I was. When I told my managers I wanted to do it, uh, they were like, oh, Chris Martin's gonna do one for Global Citizen, which is an organization we had raised money for before and, 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 and broadcast some of their events on NBC and MSNBC. And so uh, we thought it'd be cool to do it with Global Citizen. And we worked with the World Health Organization just trying to bring awareness to the idea that people should stay home and should distance from each other. So we shouted out some of the organizations we're raising money for and, and tried to entertain people and bring people together. Doing, doing a concert in front of no audience, is it eerie, is it odd, or did you like it? It's a little eerie, but I will say, because Instagram Live has the, the comments uh, popping up every time someone makes one, has the little hearts going, you actually get more detailed feedback from Instagram Live than you would get from an audience. Like you don't get the cheers, but you get the, oh. Hi, I really enjoyed that. Yes, or, and you get the, oh, can you play this song? Uh, um, um, <laughs> you know, all kinds of random requests, questions, and you would never get that from the audience unless you like stopped and you know asked for detailed feedback from each individual. <laughs> Let's all be quiet one at a time. What one did you at think? A time. <laughs> That's bizarre. Yes. That's and you could tell because we interviewed uh, D Nice last night. I don't know if you got to check out what he did. Yeah, it was insane. But well, it's D -Nice like Nice is an old friend of ours, and he played my 40th birthday here at my house, and he I was. Uh, popping in on his Instagram lives when he was doing them earlier in the week, but it just exploded on Saturday and he was oh, so happy. Yeah, yeah. He was like floating when I was talking to him and it's like, it's so interesting to see these performers like you guys uh, entertaining an empty room to silence, but yeah. there's, there's thousands, hundreds of thousands of people listening and cheering and putting love out there. And it's just kind of a new cool thing that I don't think we've ever seen before. Yeah, and there's a lot of dark sides to this moment, but the fact that these can be some of the silver linings that we have, I think um, make, it, make it feel like we're uh, experiencing it together, even though we're, we're distancing from each other and we're helping each other get through it. Uh, what is uh, the charity you chose tonight is Feeding America. Yeah. What and does that mean to you? So they have a network of food banks all around the country. And one of the side effects of, first of all, there are people that are hungry every day in America. But one of the side effects of this crisis is the fact that a lot of young people are being told not to come to school. And a lot of times their principal source for food is what they get at school. Some, like in New York, some get breakfast and lunch at school. And if they are in a family that's struggling already, and they don't have the school, school. to help feed them. Um, there's a lot of folks that won't have enough food to eat and will go hungry during this time. In addition to all the health issues that we're seeing, in addition to the economic issues that we're seeing from folks not being able to work and the stock market uh, uh, imploding and all these other things happening, um, there are just a lot of folks that are gonna be hungry. And you see it with uh, Jose Andres uh, doing what he's doing with the world. He's amazing. It was amazing, but uh, there are these food banks all around the country, and Feeding America is, a, is an aggregator of funds for these uh, food banks, and they um, disperse it throughout the country to different food banks that are helping keep people fed. If, if you guys are watching this on NBC, go to feedingamerica.org and learn how to donate. And if you're watching us on YouTube, there's a donate button somewhere, either here or around here, but press that. And any, any amount helps, it really, any amount, even 
the, the least if the least you get the, anything you have no idea what you can do with uh, 50 cents it's amazing so please give anything um also john before i, I let you go and i appreciate you doing this uh, there's there's you're going to do a performance for us tonight which i really appreciate yeah. that's that's why we really we need you now more than ever so thank you for that of um course. can you give us any hints on the new album is it coming out soon is it yeah, the new album is coming. It's we're mixing it. We're getting our strings, uh, you know, finished. I'm not sure how we're gonna execute the string recording because uh, I don't know how we can distance our way into a, a, an orchestral uh, recording. <laughs> yeah, that would be. We'll figure that out. Maybe we'll have to do like a, a few players at a time and then you know overdub it. Uh, we'll figure oh, that'd it. be a special song if you could do that. Yeah, but uh, either way, most of it's already recorded. I've recorded all of my vocals. The main uh, arrangements uh, have been recorded. And we just have to do a little bit of finishing up and then we'll mix them. And I love the music. I didn't write it during this uh, period, so it won't be really reflective of <laughs> what's happening right at this moment. Right. Uh, um, it's actually probably my sexiest album to date, which would work if you're stuck at home and want to make some Corona babies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> That's great. That's great, buddy. So, That's so uh, I feel like, um, you know, if you spend a lot of time with your partner and uh, you need a soundtrack for that, well, this, this could be it. Could be it. <laughs> uh, you're a good man. Thanks for everything you do. And thanks for taking the time to do this today. And, uh, feedingamerica.org. Everyone here appreciates you. And thank you for doing the song later tonight. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Bye, John. Performing his new song, Actions, from his home, John Legend. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La 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 la, you out the wicked with another love song that I wish Just another love run out of patience. She don't want it, she don't need it. Every other word coming from my pen, she throw back in my face, saying, Where you been? It sounds so poetic, but it feels like I let it slip away, slip away. I wanna show you the make her feel. She can feel it when I'm gone. Action, speak louder, speak louder, speak louder. The song, the melodies they carry on. But action, speak louder, speak louder, speak louder. The song, I've been moving it all wrong. La 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 la, here we go again. Just a couple of friends with some benefits. She gave me all of the love that I wish. Wrote a new song, then he rings me. Oh, every other thing that I've said before. Says you don't want to hear about it anymore. I feel so creative, but it feels like there's nothing left to say. Make you say, want to show my love is strong. Make her feel it when I'm home. No faking, no mistaking. She can feel it when I'm gone. The actions speak louder, speak louder, speak louder than our song. The melodies they carry on. The actions speak louder, speak louder, speak louder than our song. I've been doing it all wrong. So la la la. Melodies they carry on, but actions speak louder than words, speak louder than love songs. I've been doing it all wrong. <laughs> Thank you. 
I want to thank uh, everyone on the show today. John Legend, you were awesome. Not only performing, but also talking. What an entertainer. I want to thank my wife for actually being on camera uh, and being the camera operator as well. <laughs> uh, and it was my first time using a selfie stick. That was a big deal. Um, anyway, uh, and Winnie for the graphics, Franny for just being around and being awesome. I love you guys for watching. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, NBC. Uh, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Stay safe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Another new show. Bye.